Fiddle music is the music of the Shetland Islands, descriptive music of the land, the sea and the sky. Whether of the land, with its ancient folk tradition and its age-old crafts and skills, evolved as they have done through long generations of human endeavour, or of the sea with the evening serenity of a still bow, or the majesty of crashing equinoctial rollers, or of the sky with the splendour of a summer sunset, or the spell of scurrying winter clouds, the music is descriptive. It is the essence of Shetland. This music is at once simple, joyful, powerful. It is an encapsulation of an island way of life. For me, and for those of my colleagues at this university who were involved, it has been a privilege to have assisted in the compilation of this work, and we wish it well. We know that these island riches will bring much pleasure to many people. This is the first tune of the book. I'm not going to play this tune, but I'm going to read the words to it. It's called Baba Black Sheep. This is one of the easiest tunes to play when you start to learn the fiddle. He has words to him, and if you mind them when you're playing them, it's a great help. Baba Black Sheep, he's the only O, yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the pretty boy that's left his lane. Number two, Bonnie Tommy Scholar. This tune was used for a song. The alt fiddlers had different names for them. The alt maids gint the snarness. I can't get me mere time, timer when the snar comes. And they play them with the key of G as well as he. This is a fine easy way almost. It only uses the first two strings of the fiddle. Do will mind and keep thy second and third fingers close together and bait of the strings when they play them. Whar is do we na the day, bonny Tommy, bonny Tommy? Whar is do we na the day, bonny Tommy scholar? Up a bank and do na bray, bonny mini, bonny mini. Up a bank and do na bray, bonny mini man. Number three, the Mid Girls School Waltz. I made up this pretty tune after we'd been teaching at the North Isles for a twelve month. That's in waltz time with the Kia A, and Father Randolph and another in made up for the U.S. St. Bernard's. Both of them fits in fine for the St. Bernard's waltz. So when they learning them, maybe they'll get something to dance for the end, so that they can get to that, play the tight speed. Number four, the Brun Coo or Mrs. McLeod. The Brun Coo is really an old Scottish tune. Irish fiddlers hate their own way out too. Some old Shetland fiddlers play them in G, but this is a kind of easy way home in A. You can get a fine soon by keeping two strings ringing together, and if the looks at the pity exercise, you'll see for what's done. The Brun Coo is broken out and gain among the corn. If something doesn't attack a root, there'll be nine left the morning. So go to win me, pity boy, and grab her be the tater, for those a pity supple thing, no like the old dun fader.
Number five, Jewish St. Bernds. Das hier ist die Kier D. Es Schäler, die ich bin recht nut für die zu folgen, und wir mark was die Fingers lei nächst in und nieder. An der first string als der first und second Fingers. Das differs für die Weide, du plädst dem in der Tünn, du plädst vor. Mein denn jeder lang nach, es plädt ihr Bau. Number six, Donald Blue. This tune came from Papa Stewart, what it, it was called Donald Blue, after a teacher of that name. The only other place it had been found was in Fetter, but it seems that they were folk at foot for Papa to Fetter a long time ago, so they likely took him with him. There are pretty exercises you can try here, so that to keep thy first finger done the second half, and if to do this rightly, to fairly get up speed. Number seven, the Murray Boys of Greenland. This tune was taken back by ship and fiddlers for the whale fishing at Arctic. The ships gone to Greenland to fish whales who used to call a lang Larrock to get men to join them. They usually always wanted a fiddler. There's another way of this played in Denmark. Nearly every ship and fiddler played this tune. After those played the locker tunes, come back and try the bowings that we hear at night. <laughs> Number eight, Seven Step Polka. This tune was used for an old shit and dance card by the same name. What white can't the shit and we never came? There's a version of from in England used for a different dance. This one is in G, and the hasty young do know to the third string. Afford to play some, try to hold the scale of G. Number nine, the Bonnie Polka. I learned this in for the late Jean Paula Wars. She was a body with 80 years old when she played them to me. When she played them, what she always did sit and do, she kind of danced the tune with her feet so that you could nearly see the steps of the polka. There's different ways on played in England where it's used for the polka as well. There's a fine easy way on. When you played for a pity while, try the first bar on the way it will written them at the end of the tune.
Number 10, Sister Jean. This is the best kind to all the polkas played in Shetland. Nearly every fiddler had his own way on. This is the way he was played in Asians when I was pity, and at that time he was a favourite dance. My sister Sheen has come from France to learn with the polka dance. First the heel and then the toe, that's the way the ladies go. When I was a pity boy I had no sense, I bought me a fiddle for 18 pence. The only tune that I could play was over the hills and far away. <laughs> Number 11. Check broke the prison door. This scene was made up by an old fiddler named Check Gaudi for the nice. Some say that he'd had a dunt in his head when he was young and gave him queer turns. He was a very good fiddler and made up lots of tunes. One night in Larrow, we had a on him, he got a queer turn and the police locked him up at the old prison. He waited till they were all sleeping and then he broke down the prison door and made for him as fast as he could. The police was aware that he was gain, but talked it better to let be for let be, so they did anything after him. When Jack got him, he took his fiddle down and made up this tune and cried him, Jack broke the prison door. After two listens to the first 20 knots, you can hear it saying that. Number 12, Oliver Check. This tune and the one over the page were brought back by Shetland fiddlers for the Greenland Whaley. Nobody really cane squaw made them, as there were a lot of fiddlers for different places due to the Whaley. We do cane at Wallafjord is played by fiddlers in Newfoundland and in Cape Breton, and at there they always muckle the same kind of bow strokes as we do. Number 13, Wallafjord. I do imagine some in yarn with one foot of the stank and the other in on a brew and gain a kind of a lunk as they go along. That's the kind of syncopated rhythm who has to get from the place does it. Now I'm playing both of yarns together, number 12 and 13. <laughs> Soon to the morning, number 14. This is a very old tune. It's kent on the west side of Shetland as the goddess of scale. In North Gale, the old fiddlers played them with a the high bass, that is, the back string raised to G to A. You'll notice the bow strokes of the first ohm are wind down and three up, the same as you'll find in lots of Shetland tunes. At the second turning, the wind down and three up comes in what they call the half bit, not at the beginning of the bar. This happens in a broad twenty shit and students, and it's what gives them the quiff. We're giving the pity exercise so that you can practice them. <laughs> Number 15, Lasses Trust and Providence. This is a very fine old tune indeed. As far as we can, he was only fun and honest, but nobody can squire made him up. Do notice at the one down and three up bow strokes fairly come out of the second half on. He was a fine dancing tune for the Shetland Reel. <laughs> Number 
number 16, the Bonny Isle of Walsh. There were a lot of different ways of dishing, but we're getting the other way the 40 fiddlers playing. Some say this tune came from Greensleeves, an old English tune. Who's a mother? He's been playing in Shetland for a long time. Number 17, The Brig. The great honest fiddler Friedman Stickle, who I lived over a hundred years ago, made up this tune when he stood at the door of his craft at Butterford and watched the sailing ship. She was a wild on the sea and she was roaring as she sailed along. The ship was a brigantine, so he cut the tune the brig for short. After to play some kind of slow, and follows where we're accented them, you can hear the motion of the ship. Number 18, Christmas Day in the Morning. This is another in the Friedman Stickles. He was wont to play this into the Laird of Bunas every Christmas morning, and some say he bade Mr. the Day there play into the Laird and the fuck that he had been with him. I was told that Stickle composed this in as he walked along for his house and Boroughford to Bunas. There were no rods down a day, it's just sheep gates. Apparently he was nicknamed Stumpy, maybe because there was something wrong with one of his feet. The tune fits in at an uneven walking street and says it they do it Christmas Day of the morning. Number 19, The Day Dawn. I first heard about this tune when I was about 14 and was told to the North Maven fiddler who used to walk to boost the house in Delton and play him to the Laird in Yule morning. Some years later, when I was speaking with Peter Fraser, he played him over to me and said he was a very old tune. I found out later on that there was a version printed in Hibberts and another in the Midbreak Papers that's now the Museum of Antiquities, Edinburgh. When I visited the late John Irving the Satners, Walser, Al Glyby. He played a version and called him the Day of Dawi. He told me that in the olden days the fiddler was the younger room to who's playing on first thing Yule morning. And Papa Stewart, he was used to lead the sword dancers onto the floor for the Papa Stewart sword dance. The version here is the way I play him. It's my opinion that this is the oldest fiddle tune we hate, and that he's of nice extraction. Number 20, Soldier's Joy. This is a very old tune which is found all over the world. There are many different ways home even in Shetland. This is the way my grandfather played them. Although he's no Shetland tune, he was a one of the favourite ones for dancing, and they fairly looked at the Shetland reel when the fiddler played them. We tried to show you where the bow strokes of the half beat one down and three up at the old fiddler's host so that you can get the right way home. The one, two, three at the end each turn is where the dancers strampled out the steps to the shit and reel. The fiddler sometimes would play them with an half-beat bowing so that it made a kind of lightsome change. 
Some of you can draw bases while lettering plays them. The same as they used to do in Brescia. Number 21, Starry Nights in Shetland. Nobody can't very much about waltzes until after the turn of the century, when they come into Shetland for the south. They spread very quickly and they're still very popular today. We do not queen quite composed dating, but it can't be the North Isles. After keeps thy fingers doing the second half as we shaddy at the music, that makes it far easier to play. Number 22, Gossebrock Waltz. The Gossebrock Waltz was one of the Mian tunes that I composed at the Regatta Dance in Yale about 1936. I was playing for a St. Bernard's Waltz and couldn't mind quite to play for an encore. I just started playing and this is what came out. That's a fine tune for exercising thy fourth finger. Twenty-three Northern Lights. There's a tune I made up when I was leading the Irish for a dance band that goes fine with the twat comes before dancing. Vagaland, T. A. Robertson wrote words for this which do find it in leaves for Vagaland. As to Keynes, the Northern Lights is just another name for the muddy dancers.
24, Pharaoh Rome. A tune for the days of the Pharaoh's smacks. Some say it was a tune about the smuggling of tobacco and spirits that you done in your days. This is a fine thing to practice the wine doing in three uppers. He starts off with that. <laughs> Twenty-five, and one at the bow. A tune about fishing. When they were waiting for their lines to fish, they keep it the water about the place. If it was a fine day, it just meant poo and pity wise. But if it was wind, it took a bra grain around just to have it in the place. This was called and one. As the rhyme says, it was made up with the late Andrew Abernethy at twat. The rhyme follows the first half of the tune. No yarn forward, no yarn throw, biding about the place, and one at the bow. Who fairly has to click thy bow the second half of them to get them right. <laughs> Twenty-six, the forfeit of the ship. This is in our favourite tunes, and we think it can be honest. If you could think there was at the forecastle or sailing ship and had the sea bracken out the bow, they will be able to play them right. We have put an accents at the music to tell the quarter to lay on the bow with a measure of strength so that you can hear where the sea strikes the bow. Twenty-seven, the Greenland man's tune. This is another in boat back for the Greenland whaling days. Chimsy Lawrence and a fat that thought he was maybe a listening tune and might have had yucky words at one time. Number 28, Ernst Bridal March. Whenever a wedding was held at all days, they always had a fiddle to lead the procession. This tune was used to announce to lead the wedding company for the kirk after the couple was married. There were very few rods then a day, so many a time the company had the box or bruise and hider, and sometimes it was a job for the fiddle to keep on playing. They still do this in Norway, but there in some places they play upon the hard hardanger fiddle. We've written both wedding tunes to our wives because at one time they were maybe played with the twa back, back strings raised up. So they can try both wise and place the cell which way to play them. And the music here, I'm playing them in A. Number 29, the bride's a bonnie thing. This is the other wedding to be honest. 
Some says it was played when the bride came through the door of the house after the procession for the kirk, and some says it was just another march that they played on the wife of the kirk. There were little bride's marches in every district of Shetland at one time, but a lot of them has been lost, and there's the pity. Again, I played that in an A. Number 30, the Ferry Reel. This in comes for Yell, and it seems that there were a fiddler coming home for a wedding each time and set him down to rest upon a brew. He heard music coming for a holiday groin, and he could hear the sound of dancing as well. He kind it was to throw his head in a rant, but he wasn't fair, and he sat still till he got the tune and his head. When he came home, he never got to bed until he was able to play him up with the fiddle. The late Bobby Jimmyson and Wally Bart behind us in the North Yell played this in with a high bass, that is, the back string set up the A. Thirty-one, Lady Atty, another infidel. At a half days when the men came ashore, they slipped in a pretty stained house by the lodge. There was only one bed that they are slipped in. If someone took up our muckle room, the in next to them would say, Lady Atty boy, this is another in plate with a high bass. We've tried to show thee where the ring and strings comes in the dessin. You can do this with lots of tunes of this book. Number 32, Miss Spencer's Reel. This one was made up by a man called John Anderson of O a while back in 1759. He was playing with the dance at the House of Windows in mid -Yale, and there were that many Spence lasses there that he just cut the tune Miss Spencer's Reel. You can use the high bass with this in two of the ones. <laughs> Thirty-three, the old resting chair. This is a slow air in my ear that I composed in 1968 when I found at Hanover where my grandfather bade the brocks of the old resting chair that he sat upon when he learned me to play the fiddle. <laughs>
34, Hamnevo Parker. This is one of the first tunes I learned from my grandfather. He never kent the name of it, but I cut the hand of a parker because that's what he made. I never heard it anywhere else outside the Asianers. Number 35, The Ride the Hull. This tune was written in 1936 when I came up to to visit the schoolmaster friend of mine. It happened that that morning was the prize given and I was asked to play at it. I used for a walk and the tune came into me head. The place that I was walking over was called the Hull Rod, but I thought the Ride the Hull sounded better. Thirty-six, the mill. At all days, there were no shop loft bread and baps, and what shops there was keep it very little floor in it now. Folk grunt the rain bear and eats and mills. There were two kinds. The hand mullet was keep it at the barn, and the water mullet stood at the side of the barn. Sometimes, when they had a lock to grind, and there were plenty of water, they were the grind most of the night. This tune was made up by some to imitate the motion of the mill. And you can hear Fush runs run and run, and sometimes seems to have her when she gets over muffled corn. Nay, doot, there were money mill tunes and shit in the time, and we're still finding wine here and there. And Norway, they hate mill tunes as well, and they still mind the log of them. Number 37, the Laro classes. As far as we can, this in camp for us, and I ate thought it was one of the best of the alt reels. If you can get a real stop go effect to the second half home look what the alt fiddlers did for dancing, it fairly puts a quiff at them. Number 38, The Scalawalasses. This is one of the oldest Shetland tunes that was found in our Shetland. This is why I'm comes for the midbreak peppers and seems to be the oldest in the lot.
39, the Galley Watch. This is an old tune that was played nearly all over Shetland. That maybe was made up by something that was served with the Merchant Navy. The galley is the kitchen of the ship, and the watch refers to the main at St. Duty on Dick. Sometimes Ingwood Ogan quietly when the officer was not looking and make a cup of tea. This was Kent as the galley watch. This version was played the World Hose Nation when I was young. Check is get alive. They were in the fiddler cat check that was staying with the press gang. They took him out to a boat along with the rest of the crew and nobody can't what had happened to them. They thought the boat had been lost to everybody in her. They were putting at the navy and check was a war for five years. Finally they slapped him and he made for him as fast as he could. They were near rods then a days and it took him a bra while they went home. When he got to the house it was dark and when he got in his mother thought he was a fainer. However, she saw that he was real and she made him a cup of tea. When he'd finished his tea, he ragged down the fiddle that was hanging up at the wall, and after he'd gotten a tune, he played a tune. His mother, who can't add the tunes at that time, said, Boy, I've never heard John in the four. What's John? Jack said, John seen I made up as I was marking for him, and I'm crying him, Jack is yet alive. This was one of the first tunes I ever learned from my grandfather. <laughs> Forty one, sailor over the raft trees. There was many a course day of the half days when they were gone a while out maybe thirty miles off for the land till Ronnie's hull lay like a cumbered boat up in the water. Ever so often the wind would burst up, and before you can't, it was blowing that strong that they had to tack in maybe other reefs that was at the sail. The fiddler, whatever he was, had made up this in, talked up the seas that they were sailing through as high as the roof of the hoose. You can hear the first turning for the tune young's right for the back strings that fiddle right up to the first things and back again, just like the boat with the dune running through the seas. <laughs> Number 42, Dill stuck the minister. At all days, the minister never looked at the fiddle. No like no days, when ministers play the fiddle, and sometimes get fiddlers to play the hymns of the kirk. This tune was made up when a very strict minister announced good around bracken all the fiddles he could lay his hands on. However, there was e fiddler that hoided his fiddle, and the minister couldn't have him. A pretty while later, a new tune appeared at the parish, and was called Dill stuck the minister. No days, it would be called a protest tune. Number 43, Kiln Knocket Corn. The name of this tune is an old shit and mill. It translates as cabbage and bruised oats. The K in Knocket is pronounced, which was the Y of our words beginning with K in and shit in the old days. This is really no shit and tune of our. He's Scottish and his real name is Bobby Feathercairn, but he's been played that long our shit in, and at that money wise home with Miss Scots wouldn't even ken him now. Thank you. 
44, Magia Ham. There's no an awful lot we can about this thing. He comes for fuller, but why Magia Ham was him never found out. But what seemed to was that he might have been urged for the shards of fuller dance at each time as he's that kind of a tune. Now we've written them two ways. The first way is with the strings as to usually sets them, but the fuller man that I had playing him had his two back, back strings set to A and E. This alters the fingering, and this is the way I done played them for you. The burden of you little. This is for Hulsuk, and it's cut after a burden that runs down for pack into the sea. Nowadays, that's nothing but a stripe, but they said a while ago it was a bra big burden, and they could hear the hush of the water running down with a fine still night. They can hear the sound of the burden when the fiddle rings with the fiddle to all our strings the first half of them. <laughs> Forty-six, the fashion of the Delton lasses. Some folks say it doesn't as ten for a Scottish tune card to Duke of Perth. What do I count the shit and we never came? But the fiddlers found out that he could be turned into the shit and real, so they used him for that. They say that the Delton lasses were awful fine dancers, and it became the fashion to dance like them. They didn't say that they were awful fashy, so there's maybe a bit of an aft attack of the name of them. Sometimes when I play him, it reminds me of what the old folk tells me about the bad day in 1900 when the money dealt in men were lost to the fishing and who the lasses stood at the doors of the houses, I looked them to see the boats come and sail and in throw the bow. After that, nobody in the district had the heart to dance and anyways, Mr. what's left moved the war and who the houses are stand empty. <laughs> Forty-seven, the Haynes March. This tune was one that was a spoken about when I was young, but I never heard anybody playing it. When I was starting to read music, Mukherwali Thompson Atano gave me a line of some manuscripts, and this tune was among them. I talked to Mukherlom when I tried them out first, but after I sat and watched the Hain for a while, I began to get the why of it. Later on, when I met up with Pity Wally Johnston and played them together in the Children's War in 1948, he became very popular. After Scarry got the right clag of the hang, they had to follow the fingerings and bones as smart. Mind to do not play more fast, because the hang ate took her time when she was scratching at the muddy. <laughs> Forty-eight, the bonny lass of Becca Hill. This is a tune for the west side of Shetland. I got him for Peter Fraser of Finnegan, and he played him a pretty bit slower than the Oswald Shetland reel. 
they were once at eat time. I mind the vestment at seas. If I had another sixpence, I would buy another chill. I would ask the fiddler to play the bonny lass of Bega Hill. <laughs> Forty-nine, the blue yo. This is another tune of Freedom and Stickles. One day when he was at the crew and they were rowing sheep, twa folk fell looked over while on the yo. When Freddy came home, he composed this tune, and you can hear the folk flight on this to place him. The colour of the yo was a dark blue, but that strain of sheep as I they don't know. <laughs> Number 50, Pity Who's a Hunt the Burn. And whereas this tune was called Hey Yoni Murudu, and an Asians and North Gale it was called Dun Fa Paras, the Pity Who's was quite some old folk called an outside water closet. The tune is really a variant of an English ing called Fay's Hornpipe, but it's been played hours shit and for many a year. <laughs> Number 51, Ald Swara. This is is a lament for fishermen who were lost at sea at the time of the half fishing. Nobody the old days looked at the car dead body by the name. They were always spoken about as, had it belonged to me or the bairn's feather. Every fisherman at that time wore next to the skein a heavy knitted singlet called a chupi, usually made out of a three ply black wasset. This was referred to as the Swara or Dark Chupi, so the name really means the old Swara Chupi. I got this tune for the late Peter Fraser, who had told me that his grandfather A said it was composed in deep sorrow, and I got the story of the Chupi for my father. <laughs> Number 52, Debbie's Rail. I made up this tune to Debbie Scott, one of my pupils. Thank you. 
53, Ruby's success. This is a tune composed by Stephen Spence, one of the young fiddlers for you is on the nonce. His mother, Ruby, won a competition run by Radio Aberdeen where she had to see what band was playing. When she won it, he made up this tune for her. Number 54, Radio Shetland. This is another arena, Stephen Spencer's, that he composed when Radio Shetland started broadcasting. Number 55, Air Tree Castle. I made up this tune one morning at five o'clock when I was wakened up with the knots running through me head. Air Tree Castle was the place where we had the summer school run by Stirling University. This cassette and its accompanying book entitled Hand Me Doon Da Fiddle may be obtained separately or together from the Department of Continuing Education, the University, Stirling, Scotland. 